question again, man. Thank you so much. Uh, you want to go ahead and take it, man? Uh, yeah, like I said, since everybody can hear me now, basically what this show is going to be about, I interview street beast fighters and UFC fighters. I've had close to 20 UFC, Bellator, and Invicta fighters on my show before. I've been doing a podcast for, I've been doing podcasts for like eight years now, but I've had my own podcast for three. So basically what we're going to do is when I interview street beast fighters or UFC fighters, I'll be streaming live in the Street Beefs group, and simultaneously, Omar is going to be streaming live on his YouTube page. So there'll be a delay from the Facebook to the YouTube, but you're either going to be watching Facebook or YouTube, but both of them is going to be live, both of us at the same time, or whatever guests we have on here, Omar is going to be my co-host, and we got a lot of interesting guests, not just fighters, we got the actor Frank Grillo, I got him scheduled for an interview, uh, New Jack, the wrestler that used to wrestle for ECW, he's going to come on the show, and a ton of others. But like I said, this is a dry run. We're trying to make sure, work out all the kinks before we actually do a live episode, episode one, I guess you would call it. But right. now that everybody can hear us and we got everything going on, yeah. I say, like Omar said, we're going to try to do at least two a week. So I got my work cut out for me, and I already have some fighters lined up. Probably after Jens, we'll have uh, Jason the Kid Knight. Oh, you nice. guys know he used to fight for the UFC. Now he fights Baron Uncle. We'll have him on the show. And I got probably 20 other Street Beef Spiders ready to come on the show also. And, again, guys, if you want a question to be read, we're probably going to have so many people watching this uh, live and, and chatting and, and wants to ask questions. I mean, again, Jeremiah said he's going to have uh, street, uh, not only Street Beef Fighters, but also UFC fighters and an actor and all that. Uh, so if you do want your question to be read, uh, don't uh, don't hesitate to click on that super chat button and whatever you got, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we can go ahead uh, and shoot your question over to Jeremiah so he can, yeah, he can ask uh, the guest. Uh, we definitely appreciate all the support that um, that you guys can give us. Obviously, we're working with uh, what looks like, at least on my end, Stone Age equipment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Jeremiah has one side of his headphones working. I don't know, I'm 100% Only positive. <laughs> my, my good set of headphones, my son is spending the night with one of his friends, so he took his Xbox, and of course, he took my $200 set of headphones with him, so I go. got the backup pair, but I can hear. I can hear. So, again, guys, any kind of if you like I said, if you want your question to be read or, or what were your comment, whatever, man, hit that super chat button for us. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, so, Jeremiah, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. So, what you got? We need to get, we need to talk to Jens, man, ASAP. Get him on. And you know what? I'm, I know he's live on on Twitch right now. Again, if you want to go watch yep. uh, uh, Jens Pulver, uh, he's on Twitch TV slash Jens Pulver. I'm assuming, right? Yep. So he's an hour behind us. It's ten yeah. twenty. So he's probably been on live twenty or thirty minutes now. I know he's live. I'm actually uh, right here on his live uh, right now on Twitch TV slash Jim Pulver. He's actually look. That's so crazy. He's on here looking at yep. the latest fights we shot like a couple of days ago. Um, Big D Space Monkey. Spa yes, sir. Like that's Jens for you, right? Let me go ahead and uh, and say something to Jens. That's awesome. We got we got a three way menage a trois of live podcasts going on for you guys right now. That didn't sound right. But. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey we think, hey, we pulled it off, and hey, you, you basically started talking about this what forty five minutes ago, like literally, yeah. <laughs> and here we are. I just said because uh, oh, I got a uh, basically I'm sub to his uh, show. And I, uh, I have an anniversary of four months right now. And so I can type a message, right? Uh, and I'm telling him that we are watching your show on YouTube live on Street Beef GoPro. That'd be cool if he just turns his whole thing and watches this, watch us talk about him on Street Beef GoPro. That'd be pretty cool. For real. <laughs> did you watch my interview with Country Hoodlum the other night? When I, he did not know he was fighting you. He did not so, know. So, yeah, let me talk about that for a second. By the way. Broke the news on the show. Hold on a second. He's reading my show on YouTube live on Street Beef's GoPro. What? Street Beef's GoPro. What's up, man? Y'all gotta go to What's up? Man. 
So he's over here like, let me, he's basically um, clicking on, that's that's the Street Beef channel, that's the street, main Street Beef channel, man. <laughs> yeah, he can click on the YouTube or the Facebook and find us, either one. Hold on a second. It's, it's going to be awesome, man, just for a dry run tonight. Yeah, I'm there already is. enjoying myself already. So he's watching, so basically shout out to, um, click, on, click on the live, yes. Yes, Jens. Quick I know that's the one. I, I can hear him. I wish I had my good headphones. I can halfway hear him. You know oh, shit. He wasn't subscribed to my channel. He said, I know I was subscribed to yours. <laughs> I was like, no, you didn't. Oh, there you go. Here he is. So, what's up, Jens Pulver? How did you come here? Hey, Jens, what's up, man? This is uh, Jeremiah Deskins, right? Yep. Yep. So, and so it's a little bit delayed, uh, um, but... Uh, <laughs> so basically, uh, Jens, we're starting this new show. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're uh, interviewing uh, UFC uh, fighters of... Well, Jay is doing that, and he's uh, inviting people over to, on the show. And we would like to have you on the show at some point. We would like to start with you because you're you're our brother. You're uh, you're one of us at Street Beef. So we would like to start this with you. Uh, All right, so he's he's watching himself, watching himself. I don't know if you can hear it or not. There you go. Yeah, so so guys, basically, Jens Pulver is going to be our first guest. You heard it here first. We gotta get we gotta get Scarface on here, man. I've been wanting to get him on the show. I didn't have Bishaw. When you gotta get Corey Esteban face. Uh, you would have to talk to Jeremiah. Jeremiah would Jeremiah would message you, Jens, if you if yep. you uh, basically he's wondering how would he get on our show. Uh, if you talk to Jeremiah, if you contact him, Jeremiah on Facebook, yeah. um, you know, what I'm saying like, then set it up with him. But, so, Iraqi, you're watching. I've got it muted, so I don't hear the, so I don't hear the noise. But we can do something like this. But we do I play video games, man? Yeah, a lot. Um, so I'd have to figure out Snoopy. How would I should I bring them in? Or what would be the best way? He's trying to. to um, I, I would send him the link. See, all three of us would be on here. Me, you, and Jens on this platform. I'm using StreamYard. Right. And he would be on uh, Street Beef's GoPro. Right, right. So, again, like, this is already, like, way above my head. You know, so it comes to technology. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this with, with him being on Discord. You know what I'm saying? But um, But, yeah. So, like I said, Jens is definitely sounds like he's on board with this. Oh, yeah, me and Drew have already been trying to figure this out. He was wanting me to do my show and get me live on his Twitch at the same time. Right. So this this platform that you're using, he needs to download that. So, yeah. OBS. Yeah. Yeah. So let, let's just talk about the show real quick. Um, what are your plans for your future? And before you do that, let's go back to Country Hoodlum real quick. Um, so, yeah. So basically, I've been talking to uh, Scarface about taking... It started basically when he had the 185. And I was like, I should have had the 185 because I've been in the yard longer. And I've, I have more wins. But I never really went up to claim it just because... Um, Again, I was out of it for a couple of years. I was in the trucking industry. I was doing that for a couple of years. So I didn't really, you know what I'm saying, pursued it per se. Um, so what happened was um, I was going to go challenge in for the 185. Then he got moved up to the 205. You see what I'm saying? And uh, you there, Jeremiah? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. And then uh, basically when he got moved up to the 205, um, I wanted, still wanted the 185, right? But mm -hmm. I, I wanted to see, uh, what was his name? Um, these two dudes that fought for the 185, right? Outlaw. Outlaw and uh, the other dude, I forgot what his name was. And I wanted to challenge the winner at that point. Uh, but I know. 
and then all this crazy shit with the corona virus, right? That hit. And uh freaking and then I don't know, uh and then I don't know what happened. I guess he found out through you guys about me wanting to cause we me and Sunshine, we said, Hey, we're gonna do this, but I wasn't planning it right away. I was actually going for the one eighty five first. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Then I would pursue Hood Limited two oh five. But then and it, the water, you know, the bag was out of the cat on your show, and or the cat was out of the bag on your show, right? And uh, I guess that's happening. I did speak to Hoodlum again. I got nothing but at most respect for Hoodlum. He's a strong, uh, strong guy. He's a tough dude. Uh, he's a good dude. You know what I'm saying? And and but look, dude, it's gonna be a fight, obviously. Um, and also, I'm also fasting because this is Ramadan, and it's from basically, I think the 23rd of this month all the way to the 23rd of next month and so that's going to take a toll on me not being able to train during the day because I'll be fasting for like 14, 15 hours you know what I'm yep. saying and so no water no food basically for 14, 15 hours from sunrise to sunset and uh, so we set it up for July and I'm not sure when in July because his birthday is actually on the I think the first week of July so she Happy early birthday to Country Hoodlum. Uh, make sure everybody say uh, happy birthday to him. But it's going to be a good match. Win or lose. I mean, I don't care, bro. Like, if I lost, I lost to Hoodlum. That's an honor. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, so. Either or, man. So that's how that happened. <laughs> that's going to be a huge fight, man. I can't wait for that fight. And I'm going bl- to bl- bl- blame Sunshine on this. <laughs> she spilled the beans. <laughs> yeah. I asked her, though. I said... I didn't want to do it without somebody giving me the go ahead. I asked her, and she said, "Yeah, that's cool. Go yeah, ahead." That's and cool. And, we just and didn't want to let it go so early. Found out, like, yeah. I asked him before we done the show. I said, "Do you want me to tell you now, or you want to wait and find out on live on air?" He said, "Go ahead and tell me now and announce it on live." So right. I told him. He was like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, he didn't know. Enough. He definitely he didn't. Excited. Yeah. He definitely didn't know, and I wish I would have. He would have found out through us. But I mean, it's all good. No love lost, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, it's not. A, I, I guess, man. I just I, I wanted to tell him myself, and it was just like uh, you took that away from me, man. You owe me. <laughs> got you, bro. When are you going to start your official training camp for that fight? How long are you going to train? Eight weeks. What do you got? So you I've already been training. Um, see, uh, with Hoodlum, uh, he's a very smart. He's all yeah. the way around type strong fighter, right? He's uh, he's he's a stand up guy. He's a ground guy. He, you know, he's all of it, right? And I've been training uh, with boxing, and, and you know, I know it doesn't seem like I was or I've been training just because of how the past fight has been with me. It hasn't been like myself, you know, just doing crazy damage, inflicting hardcore damage. You know, what I'm saying just beating me back like what I was back in the day. But uh, that's because, you know, it's part of the integration. I'm trying to integrate myself back into this. I'm heavier by, like, 30 pounds now since I was before. Or 40 pounds, actually. I'm almost 200. I used to be 160. You know what I'm saying? I've lost a lot of shape. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. I'm slowly trying to get that back, uh, you know what I'm saying, by training all the time. Uh, but and then again, with this corona crazy shit hit and then Ramadan hit, then I can't really do too much training during the day, you know what I'm saying? So I have to train during the night. You feel me? Oh, so yeah. I haven't oh, yeah. eaten all day long or had water to drink, and then next thing you know, I'm going to, you know, just go eat, drink water, and then go train, basically. <laughs> so it's going to be tough during this month, but nevertheless, man. Hey, y'all train all the time anyway, so yeah. hell. I just want to make sure... I just want to make sure on the live, uh, are you guys hearing us and seeing us well on the YouTube live? If you can just say something to me. It seems like just sunshine is on the live. I don't know. Can you see how many people on the live? Because I don't. I, I can't see it. It says nine people. I keep bouncing back and forth from four to 13 on the Street Beast page. So that must be going from Facebook to the YouTube. Yeah, that's what it is, I think. So it's probably best just to stream it on YouTube because people get to see it on YouTube, right? Maybe. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, it looks like I got maybe nine people here. Um, but then again, yep. this is just a trial run. I appreciate all of you that are watching. Um, shout out to all these nine people that are watching right now, <laughs> including you and I. <laughs> yeah, guys. Again, this is not meant to be a super long uh, super long show. Again, it took it took us for like ever trying to figure this out. So, I uh, hope you guys... Uh, 
I hope you guys are, are enjoying this now and we'll enjoy this later when we have uh, crazy, crazy guests on the show. And again, you can ask questions on the stream and I'll, and Jeremiah can read the, uh, the stream because he's got it pulled up and he'll be able to yeah. ask the guest whatever questions you have. And I'm assuming, I'm guessing this, I'm, I don't know, but I'm guessing this. I'm guessing that Jens will be our first guest. Yep. We'll see. And probably after him, it'll be a Jive Joker. Triple oh, J. shit. All right. Well, damn. I've been, he's been, we've been bouncing back and forth trying to get a date for him to be on the show, but he'll probably be right after Jim. So we should do like, we should do this. We should do like a day where we have someone famous like Jens and someone who's a street beat fighter. Exactly. Somebody on the come up. Right. I got Heart of Stone. I got him scheduled to be on the show sometime. I, I got people message me all the time wanting to be on the yeah. show. I, I, so we'll by the move way, to YouTube. thank you for having me on the show, by the way. like that, Definitely an honor. So like, I'm, I'm glad we get to do this on YouTube because I love the yeah. show and I definitely watch it. Sometimes I might not have the time to watch it, but I try to get on there as much as I could. Uh, you know, Definitely love the show and I'm glad we got to get it out here. Uh, so Sunshine, you definitely missed on the three-way call. You should have been on the three-way call. So we're definitely going to give you some negative points on that. And I'm just fucking with you. I don't care. Exactly. <laughs> Ruined the surprise. I ruined the surprise. Yes, yeah, sir. She's on, she's on the Facebook group now. She's back, so back and forth. Back and forth. Right. Oh. <laughs> so guys, if you have any questions for Jeremiah, man, or me, myself, or anything regardless of Street Beef or this show, go ahead and type, type it in the... Uh, in the, uh, in the live chat so we can go in and answer those questions for you. I don't want to be on this chat for too long just because, again, this no. is just a test trial. I don't want to make this video long. But there will be, again, other shows. And we'll uh, we'll talk on the date. Uh, we'll agree on the date and we'll put the... We'll, okay, then when, uh, my question to you is, what are your days that you go live on the, on the show? Before well, I just want to have it, man. I, I, I do it. I base it around the fighters whenever they're available. Oh, okay. That's when I do it. Well, we need to and set it. Guys, whoever you want to see on the show, put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a great idea. If you want to see someone on the show, do put that in the comment so we can try our best to get it to you. No promises, but we'll try our best. Because between the two of us, we got access to all the street big sliders. Right, right. I know I got oh, access to Jess Paul. As soon as I texted, like, I, literally, as soon as I went to Twitch, he was right there. And we'll figure something out with Jess, man. Dude, I can't wait for Jens to be on this because it's going to be crazy. That's like, you, if, you, if you've met Jens and talked to Jens, you'll know his energy. And it's just, you know, so I'm excited. And, and, and like I said, it was so crazy when I met him at the event that time. That was the event that Italian Tyson knocked out Guru. All right, so I'm sitting here talking to Jens, and I'm like starstruck. I can't believe I'm talking to Jens Pulver. And there's people walking around that, like, don't right. even know who the fuck this man is. Right. I'm like, Dude. He's really going on here, man. This fucking Jim's little evil right here. You know what's crazy? When I first met him, I'm walking, I'm like, I'm literally behind Scarface, and me and Scarface are just trying to figure things out, you know, how big the events were back then before this whole corona bullshit happened. Anyway, mm. so I'm, I'm just literally like walking, and I'll hear, Iraqi Assassin, come here, what's up, man? And I'm like looking at her, I'm like, who is this crazy guy? And then I was like, oh shit, this is. Chess Paul, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, whoa. He's like, I'm your biggest fan. I'm like, what? You're my biggest fan? Like, hold on. This is supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> you know I what bet saying? that was a trip for you, though, for real. Bro, I I was... that was... How proud did that make you feel, though, man? Dude, like, dude, had it, to feel like fuck. If he was hollering like that over me, I would lose my shit. Dude, he was. He was. You know how many people were there that day? There's so many people. At least 50, 60 people. people. Yeah. yeah. And then he was. Like, he was. I just out of nowhere. Just Iraq is so loud and crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, whoa. You know, because man, I don't get starstruck, bro. Like, I grew up in Iraq, bro. There's nothing for me that I haven't seen. So like, seeing somebody famous isn't like really what I'm all about. But seeing Jens, man, man, that was just like. Phew. Whoa, <laughs> you know, starstruck as fuck. I couldn't even spit out a word. You know how much I talk? I talk all day long. I couldn't <laughs> say a word. I couldn't even say a word. <laughs> I, got, I brought a shirt for him to sign that uh, Bellator fighter, Cass Bell. We're going to get him on the show, too. He's 5-0 and in Bellator, all finishes. He He's going to be in the UFC within a year, right. especially when all this bullshit gets up. But we'll have him on the show. But he sent me one of his shirts. And I brought it with me to the event because I knew Jens was going to be there. And I got him to sign that shirt. So I got a shirt that a Bellator fighter sent me that Jens got Signed. his signature on. Awesome. That's awesome. I'm never going to wear that shirt. Yeah, I that got it great. back here in my little 
man cave here. So here's here's an, a request uh, uh, that I will I'll request something from you. Um, there is a Bellator fighter. He is originally from Iraq, but he was born and raised here. His parents were from Iraq, but he was born and raised here. He, he served in the Marine Corps. I can't think of his name, but I will pull it up. And if you can get him on the show, that'd be great because I would love to just talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Is he a, a UFC fighter? No, he's a Bellator fighter. Bellator fighter. Yeah. Send me his name, man. I will. I'll hit him up. I will. I got to talk to my boy, Baja. Baja is, I don't know if you know who Baja is, but he's on the, um, um, what is it, All-American uh, team, something like that. Um, American top team. There you go. He, he, he's on that team. So it's pretty, he's, you know, it's pretty cool that he's down there. But he's here in Harrisonburg now because his family lives here. So. Um, I want to, because he yeah, knows who he is. Know? I'm gonna ask him who it is. Is have him send me the information so I can send it to you so you can get him over here. Yeah, hit me up. For well, sure. anybody got any questions, man? Like I said, like Omar said, we're just gonna have a little short. It was supposed to be just like a test run, but this has turned into a show. We've been live for 30 minutes already. Nice. You can imagine what the first episode is gonna be like. I know it's gonna I think be crazy. We're gonna make a good team. I think it will be. be man. This is around. great. I'm really excited, dude. For real. I have to laugh. And I hope the fans are excited too because I mean this is gonna be something and I'm praying to God it's gonna be consistent. Uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely excited. I hope the guys are excited too, uh, to watch this for sure and I can't wait. Sunshine just said maybe she won't here, I'll pull it up so you can see it. Maybe I won't be camera shy and can get on the live. Uh, You're more than welcome. You do so much work behind the scenes, you need to be on the live. Yeah, for real. She needs to be on the live like like she, she tries to, I guess, to avoid all kind of attention, but yeah, that's yeah. how Sunshine is, man. She's she's definitely one of one for sure. Mm -hmm. That's my home girl, man. So, she's like one of my boys. Dude, you know what I mean? Bro, like, she's every, she's that's, everything. That's my homeboy. She's everything you want in a person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Except she's a ghost. Nobody knows who she is. You know what I'm saying? She's just. <laughs> <laughs> she posted a picture today so people could cop, stop calling her bro. How many guys do y'all seriously know that's fucking named Sunshine? Like. I it's thought Sunshine was a world fake world. account at first, and then, and then like I made sure that she is not. So, uh, she's for real. Yeah, Sunshine, no cat fit. <laughs> no cat She's no real. Right. She's real. All right, guys. Everybody well, most pictures of the kids. Right? Yeah, go ahead and close this out, Omar. Yeah, uh, I don't want to. We only got six uh, people watching this. Uh, we went from nine to six. So, hey. Again, right. I appreciate you guys being on here, uh, watching us. Um, I'll definitely put this in the community tab on when is the next day uh, to do this stream. So make sure you keep an eye on my channel. I'll put this in the group as well on Facebook. We'll put this everywhere on Instagram. If you uh, haven't uh, been on my channel recently or any of the uh, pages on Facebook, Instagram, we did uh, start a new Instagram page for Street Beef GoPro. So it's called Street Beef GoPro on Instagram. <laughs> so make sure you go out there and click uh, follow. Uh, make sure you say something, man. Say what's up, send a message, whatever the case might be. I appreciate that, man. Also, we got a Street Beef GoPro page on Facebook. So make sure you click on that as well. And uh, I'm going to give it to you, bro. Jay, you got about 30 seconds. All right. And uh, I just commented on the GoPro. Y'all be sure to, I've, I never push my channel on any interview I've ever done for Street Beefs. I've never plugged my own channel, but if y'all could, show a brother some love and subscribe to The Hardcore MMA Show. show please do really that. Pre really, really appreciate it. Like I said, I don't ask for much, man. And Omar's got the YouTube portion of the show. I'll take care of the Facebook Street Beefs portion of the show, and I will post links in the page who our next guest is and when it's going to be. But more than likely, it's going to be Jen's. We'll just keep y'all updated on what day and date and time it's going to be. Again, I appreciate you guys uh, sticking around to watch us. Again, don't forget to support our guy, Jeremiah. Without him, this is not possible. So make sure you go subscribe to his YouTube channel, The Hardcore MMA Show. Guys, I will see you soon, and we'll continue this later on for sure. Man, Jeremiah, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for uh, having us on your show, man. Appreciate it. That's all. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Peace. And thanks, Sunshine. Yeah, Sunshine, thank you. That shit, this is was not, not going to happen. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. We're out. Good night, Wilshire. Good night. Jay, if you could stay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I just, All right. I, just, I am.